What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Rapper Young Thug was exposed as a hypocrite, a snitch, and an informant by ex-cop who says he has the paperwork to prove it. Now, ever since that news broke, many people acted surprised, many people acted flabbergasted. They can't seem to fathom why anybody of Young Thug's stature would ever cooperate with the police. I'm not one of those people. See, I don't look at street dudes the way y'all look at street dudes. Y'all see a street dude. Y'all look at them bigger than life. Y'all be in awe. Now I realize that it's just a persona and facade they put on. So when I hear that young thug toe, I'm like, no shit. You wish have known he was snitching when we see the character of the people he surrounded himself with. Once the Rico was handed down, everybody in YSL told. We got on um, his brother. We got other members telling, we got Gunner in court saying, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, are you a gang, yes ma'am, do you see any crimes committed, yes ma'am, so we should have known then, I'm like damn, everybody telling around Young Thug, so y'all mean to tell me that Young Thug surrounded himself around snitches, informants, and he not one? So I totally buy that Young Thug was an informant, I totally buy that Young Thug possibly gave up information to the police once upon a time. Like most street dudes. See, y'all be like, he would never tell. He gangster. He don't play no games. He got rank out here in the streets. They'll be the main dudes that tell him. The most gangster dude is, the more he'll tell. See, I'm going to tell you guys how to spot a snitch in your camp. See, a lot of y'all got issues. Y'all don't know who telling. Y'all don't know how to spot a snitch. Y'all be hanging with snitches. I'm going to help you guys out. If you chilling with your homeboy, y'all walk in the store, y'all spot a police officer, and the police officer speak to your homeboy, hey Johnny, how you doing? That's a red flag number one. What you mean, why he speaking to you, bro? What's going on, you know him? And then listen to the conversation. If the police officer asks about personal information, that's how you know he's telling. Hey Johnny, what's up, man? How your mom Sequisha doing? Oh, you telling, nigga. How he know your mama? How he know you got a son? I'm looking at everybody's suspect. That's how I get down. And my homie speak to the police and he asks some personal questions. I know he tell me I gotta cut them off. Y'all should do the same thing. And I know this is gonna rub up people the wrong way. I know people ain't gonna really wanna believe it. I know people might unsubscribe from me for saying this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I kinda think we was too hard on Gunner. I kinda think we overreacted. I mean, damn, all he did was say, yes, ma'am. That's all he said. We make it seem like he was on the stand. We made it seem like he gave testimony to lock Young Thug up. If I'm gonna, I'm mad at Young Thug. We had a record deal. We was millionaires. And you got me tied up in a Rico because you became obsessed with wife and Lucha. You started acting reckless. So if I'm gonna, I'm pointing the finger at Young Thug. I don't blame Gunner one bit for saying yes ma'am. Gunner got a beautiful girlfriend. He got family to take care of. He don't gotta go down with the ship. He free to jump off anytime he want. Young Thug put everybody in this situation. He gave them millions to succeed, but Young Thug couldn't leave the streets alone. Why are you still in Atlanta? If you know you got problems with YF and Luch, you know you became obsessed with them. Why are you still in Atlanta? Go to LA, go to Connecticut, go to New York. So I'm looking at this information about Young Thug snitching in the murder case. I'm like, yup. And I'll tell you why I say that. This ex-cop says he has proof that Young Thug cooperated with the police and gave him information about a murder and he would like to present it at trial. Now it's Young Thug lawyers who say nope. It happened a long time ago. It has nothing to do with the case. It's just not true. Young Thug was very young at the time. They want the document sealed. And I'm looking at his team like, why y'all trying so hard to get the document sealed? If it's not true, let this cop get on the stand so y'all can tear him apart. What y'all afraid of? It's kind of like when your girlfriend accused you of cheating and the dude start yelling, start screaming, start throwing things. We all be looking back like, yeah, nigga, you cheating. Nigga, you doing way too much, nigga, to prove your innocence. Now, that's the dudes when their girlfriend accused them of cheating that don't really say, man, man, maybe you tripping. They'll always be the ones that tell them the truth, but the ones who acting a damn fool trying to do all this stuff, they'll be the ones that guilty. So it kind of looks like Young Thug is guilty. And I got a question for everybody if Young Thug indeed snitched. Are we going to give him that Gunner treatment? Are we going to give him that Boston Richie treatment? See, we excluded Gunner. Everybody distanced themselves. Everybody dissed him. Won't nobody do a song with him. Everybody distanced themselves from Boston Richie. But I want to know if Young Thug and D snitch, will everybody call him a rat? Will everybody distance themselves from Young Thug? Will Lil Baby distance himself from Young Thug? Will Lil Dirk distance himself from Young Thug? I don't think so. I'm starting to think no matter what Young Thug do, 
no matter how many lives he ruined, he will always get support from the industry. That's one thing about Young Thug. Everybody knows he stands on business. Everybody knows he's a boss, and it kind of seems like he's well respected. So no matter what happens, people are gonna always support him. Now I'm gonna say this about Young Thug. You have nobody to blame but yourself. You put everybody in this situation. You're the reason why this Rico happened. Because even though you had money, even though you became a man's of means, you still wanted to wear out in the streets. You couldn't let certain things go. You were stalking Lucci. You were taking pictures of his car. You was all on IG talking about we killed this homie. Just submitting to it. So you acted reckless. You got Gunner involved. You got all these people involved and they didn't hold you down. And they shouldn't have held you down. Sometimes we got to look at these rappers. Sometimes we gotta look at these gangsters and we gotta hold them accountable. Yes, I like your music, your thug. Yes, you can rap. Yes, you got that wordplay. But some of your actions outside of the music is ending you right up in prison where you deserve to be. I'm just sorry. If the prosecutors got all this evidence against you and they bring this case forward, you gonna get found guilty. Now, his lawyers is working overtime. They trying to get this RICO charge dismissed because they say some of the charges was over five years ago. They say you can't have a RICO if the charges was over five years ago. The evidence come from over five years ago. So they trying to get the whole RICO thrown out. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to be successful at it because I'm noticing that it ain't just black and white. The prosecutor do one thing, the defense do another. The defense do something, the prosecutor counter it. So I don't know if it's really going to get thrown out. I highly doubt it. I think they're going to move forward with this case. And Young Thug can't blame nobody but himself. If I'm Gunner, I'm taking a plea deal. Everybody mad at Gunner for just taking a plea deal. We at the point in time where you can't even take a plea deal as a rapper no more. But anyway, guys, these are my thoughts on this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think this Rico case have a good chance of getting thrown out? Or do you think Young Thug will be found guilty? And what do you guys think about Young Thug lawyers trying to get the document sealed? Is that a sign of guilty? Is that a sign that he working with the police? He say F12, but he might just be 12. Let me know how y'all feel about that as well. Leave a comment. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.